Inside episode 25 on Outsourcing Life, I'm excited to interview the million dollar woman who uses and teaches video marketing to create a successful business with local businesses. Plus, it's a video interview that you can watch on YouTube. Also, I've got a great quick tip that allows you to send video emails that will dazzle the person you send it to. Time to roll it. Welcome to the Outsourcing Live Podcast, where you will learn to build a virtual team to run your business. And now, your host, Tyrone Shum. Hi everyone, it's Tyrone Shum from Outsourcing Live. And today here, I've got a very, very special interview. I'm actually located at her house and she's a very, very well-known marketer, particularly on social media and also video marketing. And the reason why I wanted to get onto the call today was to share with you more about some of the video marketing strategies and techniques that she's been doing for her business mm -hmm. that's been working exceptionally well. So let me introduce you to Pam Brosman. Hi, Tyrone. Thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure. You're welcome. Pam, it's been amazing because I've been following you and mm -hmm. I've been looking and watching all your stuff as well and you've got some brilliant information. Thank you. And since we've really met each other today and also spent a bit of time together, I've really got to know you a lot better. Mm -hmm. But um, for the people who don't know you, share a little bit more about your story and how you've gone to video marketing. Okay. Well, my background is corporate communications and I come from the corporate world. And seven years ago, I uh, had my little boy, Hunter, and my husband was an entrepreneur and he was hanging out at the beach while I was in the office and it didn't quite connect or gel with me very well. So um, I said, you know what, I, um, I don't want to go back. After my 12 months maternity leave, I said, you know what, I want to hang out with my little boy mm. and I want to try out this entrepreneurial world. So I had to go and doing a bit of internet marketing and I, to be honest with you, I sucked at it. I, I had <laughs> no idea what I was doing. But with every website that I built, I learned a little bit more. And then I met this um, lady called Maria Andros and I, I did a course mm. of hers and she introduced me to this world of video and because of my background in visual communications, the two just gelled and the rest is history. So that's how I got started. Fantastic. And tell me a little bit more, what are you currently doing right now with your business? Because there's a lot of things that people probably want to know a little bit more about video marketing. What are you doing with it, with video marketing? Well, I took it from a different perspective. When I first started, I did it from an internet marketing perspective. And to be honest, I was scared of being in front of the camera. So I was Look a whiz. Today. <laughs> yeah. That's all thanks to, my, thanks to my husband. He got me over the fear of the camera. But I started out with PowerPoint, to be honest. So I'm a whiz on PowerPoint. Mm. And I saw all the internet marketers were doing these sales letters, and they were all in PowerPoint. And mm. I thought, well, that's easy. I can do that. So I actually started with PowerPoint. And then I noticed that a lot of people were making their own products. And I soon realized that the money was in the products. Yes. So I started taking what I'd learned and doing tutorials so that I could teach other women to have the same lifestyle choice that I had created using the power of video to grow their business, their brand, and create their own products online. That's great. And that's how I got started with video. And that's how I've grown it. And now I've moved into digital branding, digital communications, and digital product creation. And all those kind of things. Yeah. So maybe let's let's have a look into because you've talked about as well, you've got you started off online marketing mm -hmm. and now that you've branched out, you mentioned as well that you're creating these products. Yes. Products of physical products or, or online products. What what kind of products are we talking about? Well, up until about a week ago, I was doing digital products because digital products were obviously more cost effective mm. and it allowed you to have a easier global reach. So I would create uh, videos and out of the videos I would take out the audios and out of that I'd have them transcribed and have the PDF and I would create online courses. Sometimes they were $97 ones yep. and sometimes they're bigger ones that go for 8 or 9 or 10 modules and I sell those for $1,200. But then we're finding with the offline market that they quite like the physical. Mm. So now we're actually burning the same content onto DVD and giving the physical at our events. And basically, oh, so you're also talking about events as well too. Yes. So how, this is the thing, there's so many people online talking about internet marketing and really teaching all about this stuff. But in order to do that, I hope most of the people that are teaching this stuff have also gone through that. How did you get to that point though to be able to teach and get up on stage? Because... Well, I'm, I'm, my background's in training. I did training in my corporate communications world, so I've never been f afraid of teaching. Getting on stage, having said that, is another matter, you mm. know, sort of being up there. Um, when we started getting invited to be on other people's stages because we 
we funnel down into one area of expertise, which is a really important thing for people to do. You can't be an expert of everything. Yep. So you really do need to niche down. So when we started with social media, we found that there were so many people teaching social media that it was very hard for us to stand out. That's right. So we went and looked at what we loved doing in social media, and it was all about the video. So when we niched down into video and then became an expert in that one niche, that's when we took off and that's when we started creating products on video marketing, doing free tutorials on video marketing, and then people started seeing us popping up everywhere and then we got asked to do interviews. Yep. Like today we get people contacting me and saying, Pam, can you cover this topic? And then it grew from there and then people on stages started asking us if we'd teach on their stages. stages, yeah. Which is really interesting because you, you started talking about just then, I noticed was social media marketing, which as you said was a large market, mm -hmm. and then you had to really niche it down, narrow it down, down to say for example video marketing. Do you incorporate the two now, or is it now just focused on video marketing? Um, I definitely focus on video marketing, but what I teach with the social media is the distribution because social media is about building relationships. Mm. So video is the medium for me to connect and get my message out there to my target market. And then social media is the place for me to network, mm. build my list, build my communication, uh, my, my communities, and um, let them know what I have that can help them grow their own business. So I actually teach social media as a distribution and networking part of the business. So That's they good. do go hand, hand in hand. hand. Because if you don't have that community of people to share your knowledge, then you're just going to have videos and no one's going to watch them. Absolutely. It's yeah. a very, very smart strategy actually because I think a lot of people either just focus on one thing which is the video marketing and forget how important it is to be able to get those customers to go from watching a video to take some kind of action. And that's what you've done is taken these people from taking action from watching a video to getting them onto the social media network which allows them to communicate with you and also build that relationship with you. Then from there, obviously, if they've got value and they want to buy your products, they can purchase your products. That's, that ex that's exactly right. And the other good thing about social media, especially places like Facebook and now the Google Plus, mm. is that you see a lot of people asking questions. Now, those questions then become the material for your video that helps and answer them where they're stuck. Ah. And then you're seen as a center of influence and someone who's helping them you know, get past where they're stuck. And then they come back to find out a little bit more and say, wow, Pam was helpful. I wonder if she's got any more information that I could use in my business. So I actually use it as a information gathering tool for the content that I'm going to create for my business. Which is very smart because I think a lot of people out there just going to create content based on what they want to do and not listening to their customers, which you do. It's a, complete, it's, it's a very simple thing. That's the thing. It's a common sense thing, but a lot of us forget that simple rule. It comes back down to basics, doesn't it? To listen to your customers. Most definitely. And you know what I find uh, for growing a list sp uh, specifically? The how-to tutorials have been the biggest list builder in video. So someone might say to me, Pam, I just saw that you did this. How did you do it? I said, no problem. I said, I'll just shoot a video. And then that person will like it. Mm. And then someone, just like yesterday, I was um, somebody in my social buzz club showed me how to go and change something in my profile on Facebook that I didn't know how to do. Mm. We all so I retweeted it, yep. and, then, and then they said, Pam, how did you do it? So then I put on my blog how I did it, <laughs> yep. and then everybody else is saying, wow, Pam, thanks. And because they're commenting, I'm going and virally being spread, and so is my video tutorial introducing me yep. and, to other and people. Basically, that's the effect of, of going viral, I guess you yeah. could say, and people sharing stuff, because the power of the internet allows us to do that. You click on one thing, somebody else sees it and go, oh, that's useful, let's yes. spread it. That's yeah. exactly right. So from Twitter to LinkedIn, Google, YouTube is mm. my predominant, and uh, Facebook, that's uh, a fantastic way for you to grow globally very, very quickly. Yeah, well, that, that is very, very important, especially now being YouTube, the second largest search engine in the That's world, right. we can capture a huge, huge potential market from there. I love YouTube. <laughs> yeah, me too. That's why I'm on it. <laughs> well, actually, let's jump into a little bit more detailed stuff. I'm pretty sure a lot of the listeners who are listening to this on the podcast, mm -hmm. and if you are watching this on YouTube, you know, you can see us both live here. This is 
Pam Studio, which is beautiful here. Overlooking the ocean. Overlooking the, the ocean. And it's, it's absolutely wonderful. I'm sorry you guys are missing out. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think the interesting thing that people probably want to know about the, the content that people are probably wanting to listen to is mm -hmm. how do you do video marketing? Where do you start? Because there's so much of it. Like, you know, I, I did a, a podcast just last week about the video equipment that you need, all the stuff that you need to put together to get it to work. But where do you start to start marketing and all this stuff? Okay, look, what we tell in our events and our clients is that the first thing to do is if you're scared of the camera, start with a PowerPoint. Mm. You know, it's okay. Or you can even start with an Animoto, which is just images being uploaded and they do all the, you know, the hosting and the um, transitions, transitions for you yeah. and put it and straight on there. Too, That's well. exactly right. So the key thing is you have to get started and if you've got a business um, say an online business and you've got an e-store and you might sell things like uh, children's clothing or boots or um, any physical product then doing a sample animator email about the different products that you have on your store with a redirect on mm. how they can go and purchase it's the easiest way to do it so that's free without even having to get a camera so that's what I tell people to do to get started if you're doing information products, face to camera, to be honest with you, is the closest thing to doing face to face. Mm. People like to connect with you. When I actually got over my fear and started getting in front of the camera, my business took off. So if you can do that, Tyron and I, we're sitting here with a ZI8. And just having a chat, really. That's right. <laughs> and so really, to put your equipment together, Tyron, how much would you have spent all in all, maybe 300 max? Yeah, that's what exactly I was going to say. It's just a camera, a tripod, two microphones, and just you and me sitting here. And he's just showing me this cool little, little gadget thing. <laughs> Wait till I show Steve. He's going to love it. So you can have two microphones. It's that simple. I think these mics are, what, $25, $30 yeah, each? Yeah, that's all it is. And then the little device that I've got to hook in two mics together, only like 30 bucks. So it's not expensive that's at all. That's right. So that's HD quality to get a level that's just as good as what they're putting on TV. And then really, you just have to find what it is that your target market know, you know, their wants, desires, needs, and start fulfilling that, yep. and you'll start becoming a center of influence, and then get them out there on YouTube and social media. That, that's easy for us to say, isn't it? <laughs> it is easy for us to say, but you couldn't, in an interview like this, go through the step-by-step yeah. -step process, because there's so many different ways you can do it. Bottom line is, you don't even have to edit, and if you do want to edit now, YouTube has a YouTube editor. That's true. I mean, everything's all online. It's just all easy now. Yeah, absolutely. When I got started, it was really difficult. You know, I had to learn all these editing tools, but now you upload to YouTube, and you can just pull these little sides in, edit the bits that you don't like, and then go save, voila. How Simple. How easy is that? Yeah. <laughs> we are making it sound very easy. We are. But at the same time, a lot of the things that we do personally is actually quite simple. Unless you want to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars every month to get really quality professional videos, to get a proper video crew to come in, do those transitions and all that, which is not necessary. The main thing is focusing on the content, isn't that right? That is exactly right because at the end of the day, it doesn't. audio is really important, but if you aren't teaching something or you're not connecting your message to the right market, it doesn't matter how many videos you do, it's, it's, it's not, and if you're not doing your SEO, which is your video search engine optimization and keywording, your videos aren't gonna get found and really you're wasting your time. Yeah. Actually, for a lot of the listeners, may, they may not, not even know what SEO is, so okay. let's maybe break it down. How do we talk about this? Or what is SEO for videos specifically? Okay, well it's like when you go to Google and you are looking for something in particular. So I wanted to learn how to do video editing. I would go to Google and I would type in video, video editor or video editing. Mm. Those two words that I've typed into the search engines, they're called keywords. That's right. So there is a place where you can actually go and find out what your target market is typing in and you can use that to your advantage to get the search engines to know where to position you on the search engines so that you can get found. So it's as simple as me finding out, okay, my keywords would be online video, video marketing, video editing, mm -hmm. um, digital, videos. digital marketing, yeah. you know, that's what my keywords are. So whenever I upload a video, I always make sure in the headline I go, online video marketing tutorial 
And then I always put my website URL That's in the important. description. Very yes. important. Because what am I trying to do? I'm trying to send people back to my website to find out more about who I am and how I can help them. A little bit of a description, mm -hmm. four or five of your keywords in there. And then you'll have tags at the bottom in YouTube. Minimum of 12 tags. And those tags are the same as keywords. So you will find that probably I tell our clients to find your top 20 keywords, use them over and over again. And what happens is that you're putting little bits of real estate out there for the search engines to show up on your business for your keywords. The more videos, the more you have for the search engines to find, the more you start dominating. Mm -hmm. And the rest is just a compounding. Yep, and effect. it's like, it's like an exponential effect. Once you get, say, ten, fifteen, and you do it consistently, yes. that's the key. Yeah, it starts to roll. Because when I first started my personal channel, which is at tyrantshelm.com, I had no views, mm -hmm. no subscribers, no people following, no nothing. Nowadays, I don't even put any videos up there. Probably me once every two months or so. Mm -hmm. I've had over 180,000 views just wow. from that channel by doing nothing. Fantastic. Because it's just been rolling and rolling and rolling. And that's exactly what we're talking about, the compounding it effect. Is. That's right. I've got one video that I put up two years ago. I've sent no traffic to it, but I did keyword it perfectly, and it's had 21,000 views to it. That's amazing. And, that, and I'm showing up in the search engines everywhere, and it's driving traffic back to my business. And that's so important, isn't it? Yeah. Making sure you have the right keywords, good description, and also ensure that all your tags have the right keywords in there. Well, that's the thing, um, Tyrone. People don't realize that video marketing is a serious marketing tool mm. for your business. Not only does it drive organic free traffic, but also you turn it into a product. And we have monetized our whole business purely through video and created a global brand in under 12 months. That's amazing. And that's what we try and teach other people that they can do. Most offline businesses just think within their you know, 20 meter radius. But there's a whole global world that needs to know their information. Why not use it? Exactly. That is really, really amazing. Also, too, I'm curious as to, because a lot of people ask me the same question, <laughs> is I don't have any views, I don't have any subscribers, I don't know if I'm, how do I get those views. Like, I've seen that people just upload their videos and probably get like five or six views. How do you get those views to get started? Because the aspect we've been talking about is the videos, creating and making sure that you've got the right keywords, the titles, the descriptions. But once you get it up there, how do you get traffic to them? Well, there's many different ways to getting traffic and obviously putting those videos, this is the process that I do. I create my video. I mean, I have a list now, but when I first started, I didn't have a list. Mm. And so I found that people wanted tutorials from me. So that's how I started. I had people opt in to get the latest tutorial and I would have a weekly newsletter that gave them more tutorials. Oh, so they were right. opting in for the tutorials and then they get it in their inbox every week. Once I serviced my newsletter people, then I would take that same video, I would put it on my blog, I would put it on YouTube, I would then put it on social media. Yep. And see what people are doing wrong is, they're only servicing their list. Why not repurpose that same video and get more people into your funnel by saying, wow, that was a really great video. I want to get on the newsletter list to get next week's. So you've got to actually start thinking past the list that you've already got. Mm. And plus these days now everybody's using the Facebook comments box, yeah. which is now obviously helping it go much more viral. And Facebook pages. Yes. They are putting videos on there. Yeah, like Google, pa yes. uh, Google Pages right now. Google Plus Pages. Yes. Jeez, it's, it's getting That's confused. a mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> I know, there's so many. But yes, they are using Facebook Pages now to get people into their funnel because you can have an opt-in box there as well. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. And you mentioned about repurposing content just then, how mm -hmm. important that is because I think a lot of people think you've got to also make sure you have unique content. But it is true that you can repurpose content to be able to get a larger spread. You know, there's no harm in splitting up your videos. Like even an interview like this, I could split up into what, 10, 15 parts or so. That's exactly right. I did an interview for the Social Media Woman magazine with Murray and the interview went for 24 minutes. And I said to Murray, we keep the interviews in the magazine under seven minutes. I said, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split up every one of those questions and put them up as separate videos, each one being a real bit of real estate that is gonna drive traffic to Social Media Woman yep 
and then I can take the audios out now, thanks to you, <laughs> and put them up there on iTunes. So that's yeah. what we mean by repurposing, and then you can actually take the content out and put it in eZine articles. And also into PDF, that's where, where right. you can distribute through iTunes. Yeah, so there's multi-purposing and repurposing that one content, all sending traffic back to your business. That's amazing, isn't it? So we've talked a lot about repurposing. We've also talked about how videos can be marketed on YouTube and all the different various channels. Mm -hmm. And you also mentioned to me that you actually have Social Media Woman a magazine. Yes. You, know, you just talked about it briefly. Tell me a little bit more about that. Social Media Woman magazine was probably the smartest thing that I ever came up with in my business. I saw a whole lot, two years ago, I saw a whole lot of people putting out a lot of information on social media and it was just all over the place. There was mm -hmm. no one spot to go and get it. So I thought, um, I'm not the expert of everything. Why don't I create one magazine that other people could contribute to mm. and I would just be the expert on video marketing and then create one hub. So I created a PDF which was a plain uh, flip page. Back then it wasn't any big deal. It's been around for a while but no one was really into it. Mm. But people loved it. It was new, it was funky. And then about eight months ago, I found a technology that allowed me to put video in it and uh, that took it to a whole oh, new yeah. level and then my, my business has just gone through the roof. So I'm using it, the same repurposing. I put the video in the magazine, but then I also host each of those videos on YouTube, which is driving traffic True. back to the magazine. And then I also host them on Facebook and Google Plus. And now I'm going to be hosting them on iTunes. iTunes as well. So the reason why page flip marketing is so powerful now, and I've actually created a product on it, is because the offline business now see the power of page flip catalogs, page flip flyers, everything that they're now doing in print media oh, can on. now go digital, saving them a fortune, environmentally friendly, <laughs> and you can buy directly from the magazine. Mm. So it works for you 24 seven. So instead of getting this squashed up thing in the mailbox after the rain, you don't have to worry about that now, you just send people out and redirect them and it's a behavior change. They can opt in to get on the list, to get the catalog every month, yep. building your list at the same time. That is a fantastic idea. Something I, I didn't know until I spoke to you because I hadn't even heard about, I mean, I have been he hearing about the online magazine but didn't even realize that videos could be embedded on there. And that, that is m a lot more interactive than just reading through a magazine online. So I didn't really like opening them and flicking through online. I still prefer to hold a physical magazine. Right. But to actually see it online and see that video, it's a lot better because it's interactive. It's something that people are moving around and, and actually seeing on a video what's going on. Plus you mentioned about how-to tutorials that you include in there too. I'm going to be doing that in the new year. As I'm calling them live workbooks. So yeah. you actually can do training um, which has the videos and then the information and then you download the PDF and they wow. work through the live workbook. So it's, it's technology is changing. Everybody's walking around with an iPad. Oh, they yeah. want to be able to access wherever they are and you can have a catalogue and you can just sit there and have a look through the catalogue. You might have left wow. it at home. There is the digital version and you just think what, right when you've got them emotively connected, the button there to buy is yep. right there. Credit card, they've made the sale. You can't get that from a paper version. So no. it's just a shift in technology going with the mobile market and um, it's really exciting. It is ex absolutely exciting. I'm just like listening to you and I'm like, wow. Yeah, <laughs> I, gotta, I, I, gotta, I gotta start implementing something like this. It's fabulous. I really love how you talk about action because the thing is when you said that, they're watching the video and right at the bottom you've got a button. In magazines, mm -hmm. you just can't press a button and just go pull yeah. out your credit card and start paying. You've got to actually call someone or you've got to write a credit card down on a piece of paper. I think that takes a lot of time. It, it's instant and they can get that product straight away once they purchase mm -hmm. as well because it's delivered electronically yeah. depending on what it is. So it's key again, as you're saying, how that strategy is so effective. You use video marketing to market your product or your service or whatever mm -hmm. it is and then instantly people can just take action to buy that item. Well today I did exactly, I'm doing some affiliate marketing and I'm doing it with, um, for those people who are into affiliate marketing and I'm doing it on Amazon products. So I'm an affiliate for Amazon and I went and got, I did my keyword research, went and found out the keywords, went and found the products, got them, took some of the um, testimonials and product reviews, uh. put it into a magazine. Each one of them are um, hyperlinked 
Ah. So when they look at the magazine and decide that they want to go to Amazon and check out that one product, if they buy, I get an affiliate commission, sits on my blog post, looks exactly like a magazine, like people like to receive their information, information. like a catalogue, yep. and they can download it as well. Isn't that amazing? You can do this pretty much with anything. You can do it with anything. It's really, really exciting, and the offline market are going crazy over it. Talking about the offline market, isn't that also another area that you're very, very strong in? <laughs> well, I, um, I have to say, I have to take that kudos from Frank Kuhn. He's my mentor, and in the state of the internet address in 2011 in January, he very clearly said the market has shifted offline, and those who are really smart will take their knowledge that they've learned online to the offline market because they're now ready mm. to bring their businesses online and they have no idea how to do it. So I said to Steve, you know what? The offline um, businesses are now ready to learn video. So we spent the whole of 2011 focusing on the offline market, running events and teaching them the power of getting their products and digitizing their marketing mm and driving more and getting pretty much customers all from the online market into their business. They <laughs> love it. They really love it. And so, yeah, we've been running events in the offline market and we will be growing in the offline market in 2012. That's fantastic. You've talked about running events to say, for example, teach people to do that. A lot of people probably also too are say online marketers who mm -hmm. probably listen to this and also wanting to learn about outsourcing videos and stuff like that. Yeah. How did you firstly get those kind of clienteles to be able to allow, say, people to do that kind of work? Because <laughs> Okay, what we did was, was we ran some one-day workshops and we promoted in the local community. So we went to the local B&I, which is like the local networking breakfast oh, yes. in the community. And um, we got friends that we knew that were in the local community that had a list and we got them to sign up. So you get people like who are accountants, oh, who have wow. lots of small businesses on their database. Um, business coaches who have lots of small businesses on their database and then you say well we want to help support them um, and teach them this new thing and, and they look like they're actually doing their clients a favor by introducing them to something that will help their business yeah. so they send them to the event yep. and then they get affiliate commission for any upsells to the three-day workshop that we get from the so we run a $97 one day yep and then from there we take them into a three-dayer and then from there for those people who want to do a higher end where we coach them through and help them implement some of the strategies then we have an upsell from that. Oh, okay so therefore it's really teaching people how to get into this market first with a one-day event yeah. three days it's it's a little bit higher more implementation yeah do you offer service after that to, to help them do their stuff? We do are stuff? doing that now and the next one that we're running one in a week's time and another one in, in um, the new year, what we're finding is, is in the offline market, they don't want to do a lot of it themselves. Mm. So now we're actually providing a done for you service for them, of which we're going to be working <laughs> with Tyrone because he's going to help do a lot of the um, systemization of getting those videos up there, which most of the offline people, it's just too techy for them. Too techy, yeah, absolutely. Um, so, and because now we have our own home studio, we have clients that come in and they shoot all their videos, they walk out the door, and we do the rest for them. It's all done for them. Yeah. And they love that. Isn't that amazing? Just to have somebody to do that for you. Because I know that there are a lot of people out there, particularly businesses, small to medium-sized enterprises, mm -hmm. they just get stuck in all the day-to-day -day kind of things. And with that in mind, they just don't have the time to create these to do extra marketing. And they have a budget, though. They do have a budget. Most of them are shifting their budget now because they're seeing so much more value from doing visual communication online than they are from the normal print media where people just aren't hanging out on the newspapers or anything in the more and that mailbox drops just not getting them the results so no. they know they have to be online so they're open to it and they're shifting their marketing budget to this form of communication and marketing That's, that is absolutely amazing what you mentioned as well too is print media isn't as effective and no. I think that's the interesting thing talking about print media is it's not as easy to track is it comparison to no it's not and you know sometimes you do those mailbox drops and have you ever seen that half of them you know they get chucked in the bin they or don't they actually end up rain. in the newsletter so exactly. um, you know in the in the mailbox so that's a wonder of page flip marketing you know you can put your Google Analytics in there it's all trackable you can see where the traffic's coming from and to be honest with you the majority of my traffic for social media women is now all coming online totally for the um, online magazine that's amazing and the videos 
are funneling into that for me. I mean, that's the thing. With, without the technology that we have, we never had this, what, 10 years ago? No. It, it's unbelievable that we can do so much with it. And it's so much easier and, mm. than it was when we first got started. And as I said, editing and things like that are so much easier now. There's <laughs> really nothing stopping people. And if you don't want to do it, PowerPoint in 2010, you can go file, save as into a video format yep. and upload straight away. <laughs> so if you can use PowerPoint, you can start doing video marketing. There you go. You know, you're hearing from the expert who yeah. uses PowerPoint. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> that's amazing. It's so easy to do these things. And that's the thing. A lot of people need to be able to take action. And I guess that's the reason why I've been teaching people how to outsource this stuff. Because if you can't take action yourself, that's you right. hire the people to help you do it. And yeah. that's where video marketing and also video editing just takes a lot of time as you and I know that you just spends you can spend hours just creating one video and editing and then by the time you get it up there the day is gone yeah the thing that well, Steve and I found was there was a lot of people teaching video marketing out there and they were teaching people how to create a video and how to edit a video and how to upload it to YouTube but no one was teaching people how to market exactly. with video so we took that niche because both our backgrounds are in marketing and we're gone out there and said, okay, now you've created this video, this is what you do with it, and this is how you drive traffic, and this is how you monetize it, and this is how you use it to position your business. Mm. So we used it with everything that they needed it to do, and that's our unique selling proposition. And that, that is yeah. a very strong unique, because no one wants to really know how to edit a video no. and create it. They just want to be able to get the business that's exactly from right. these videos. Yes, yeah. so it's that power that we show them, and um, they're loving it. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm, I'm even loving it because I'm learning so much from you too. <laughs> well, Pam, it's been a real pleasure to have you on to the call today and also on this video interview as well too. If people want to find out a little bit more about you and also find out what products you have that they can help with local businesses and video marketing, how can they find out more about that? Okay. Well, you can go and check out the online magazine. Go and have a look and see how you can start using page flip in your own business. You just go to socialmediawoman.com and you can opt in there to check out the magazines. But I am launching sheexperts.com mm. in the new year, which I'm very excited about. And that's gonna be teaching women entrepreneurs how to use digital marketing, digital branding, and digital communications, and digital products Ooh. to create and take what's in their head and turn it into a global brand, just like I did within 12 months. So that's another place you can go and check out that's launching in January. Fantastic. Well, that's very exciting, and I'll definitely be putting down the links to Social Media Woman and mm -hmm. also She Expert as well on okay. Pam's site. And if you do want to check it out, all you have to do is simply go to the Outsourcing Live forward slash episode 25, and you'll be able to find that directly down there. There'll be a link there. So Perfect. Thank you so much again. And we're going to repurpose this, aren't we? <laughs> yes, we are. Okay. <laughs> thank you very much. Let's go and have a drink. Likewise. Okay. Thank you again. Bye. Bye. It's time for the Outsourcing Live Quick Tip. Recently, I was introduced this tool and actually this little amazing tip from Pam, who I just recently interviewed as well in that last part there. So I wanted to share with you this really amazing tool where you can send video emails to clients and really anyone that you want. It's as easy as just having a mini webcam and also a microphone. Obviously, you, you want to have those two components in order to be able to get this working. And the tool that allows you to be able to capture that and simply be able to send a video email is called iJot, like your I bought a high, spelled E Y E J O T. And you can access this at iJot.com. It's free, and you can just sign up for a free account to be able to use this. I've been personally using it to be able to send some video emails over to a few clients and also to respond to a few things. And it's probably the best thing I've ever done. And thank you to Pam for that because it's the most easiest and very fast and efficient way to be able to reply. And it gives you that little personal touch because when you're writing an email, being in text, people can also misread sometimes the emotions behind it. Whereas if you've just put in a video and you just talk in front of a video cam and talk as you are and be natural and express everything with your facial expressions, it's very easy to be able to come across the message that you want and it's a lot more personal touch as I mentioned. So try this out. I know that Pam uses this specifically to be able to report back to or talk with and email back to a lot of the local businesses and they're blown away by it and when they apply it to their own businesses, the local businesses that do this and send it to their clients or their customers, they're even more blown away by it because it's a revolutionized way to communicate with people and people are just not used to it because people are so used to text. So definitely check it out. It's at ijot.com and you'll be able to access it for free. Now, if you like more resources like this one, you can find them inside Mass Outsource Mastermind. 
along with video tutorials and step-by-step -step instructions showing exactly how I use them. To get a 30-day no-risk trial membership to Mass Outsource Mastermind, simply visit freevideoset.com. Until next time, I wish you success in your quest for outsourcing.